All right, guys, uh, here we are. We got the whole gang back. And by the way, you're watching us. We're making money. I'm Charles Payne. Let's meet the bros right now. Hillary Kramer, a g Capital President, Chief Investment Officer, is back with a spectacular diamond necklace. <laughs> Scotty Nell Hughes, not to be uh, undone, the director of TPNN News, spectacular earrings. And Jim Maywalk. Pilsom, Mark Capital Managing Director with a, a fantastic tan. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, I told, I'm not going to uh, talk it about it coming. anymore. It Dip First Things back with yeah. us, of course, New Old Capital Management. Matt McCall, founder and president of Penn Financial Group. Listen, All right, yeah. Jim, you're our resident uh, Fed whisperer. How, what did you interpret today? Uh, I think the Fed has actually made a commitment that they will act before year end. And I think I agree with Jim's comment. I don't think you should be talking about valuations. But Greenspan did that. And by the way, the market kept going up considerably. The Fed did it a year ago. Biotechs and some other stocks kept going up. So I don't think this hurts equity valuations. It's the bond prices. I'm sorry, bond yields widening. I think uh, that was what really, I think, spooked yeah. markets you know, more than anything else. It's interesting because uh, we all remember the famous exuberance, uh, irrational exuberance. People should know that was in 2006. Uh, uh, Greenspan was able 96. to not, not 96, rather, 1996, is able to knock the market down for maybe a month, maybe, and then we were irrationally exuberant for the next three or four years, Hillary. Show that chart, okay? You guys at home, you have to see this. You know, we don't talk about bond yields a lot. It gets a little weedy, but this is something that's amazing because we haven't seen bond yields go up eight days in a row in a very, very long time. Uh, what is the signaling, Jim? Jim, firstly, what does that tell people when the bond yields surge like that? What's it supposed to tell us? Look, I, I think global growth is already being challenged, and, and rising bond yields are actually going to make it uh, even more difficult. Uh, but why are they growth. rising? I think they're anticipating a few things. One is uh, we are going to see a Fed move. The markets are moving first. By the way, the long-dated bonds, far more volatile. Corporate spreads, okay, far more stable. So I do think uh, uh, long-dated uh, bond yields have been kept artificially low, and we are seeing these things widening out. So in not a reflection of Main Street, just, uh, just Wall Street yes. uh, shenan shen shen shenanigans. They, they've, they've been are, again, artificially compressed. I think they're widening out. I think they'll find their natural place. And again, I think the same thing happens. The answer is we're very trigger happy now, and we're like, we're really well, fast I, to I, exit. I think to your point, the market is priced to perfection right now. So even Whole Foods, which put up good earnings, okay, the fact that they miss on the revenue line, the market, they're taking them down. And I still think that people always talk about Whole Foods facing tough competition. Uh, in my neighborhood, they're beating the competition. So I, I really like what they're doing. With any miss, it is priced well, to perfection. You live in a rich neighborhood. Let me switch. Uh, uh, <laughs> Scotty, I want to ask you know, the oldest axiom buy low, sell high, guys. People don't have the nerve to do it, but if you do, that's when you make gargantuan money. What do you think, Jim? Oh, I agree with that. I think we uh, we talked about in the last segment about being price perfection. I think the jobs report and some action going on the bond market is going to put some pressure, and, and you need to have your arsenal ready to go uh, to seize these opportunities. So I agree with that. One of the answers to low prices of oil is the low price of oil, because then you have to have guys stop. The answer to the high price of oil, you know what? Price goes a little higher, turn those spigots back on, and you'll push it down. Now I think we're going to be a little trading. You said rate. high price of oil. It wasn't long ago we consider high price of oil with a three, you know, over 100 uh, bucks. Absolutely. So it's 60. I I think, I think we're in a new now. normal now because the U.S. makes money at around seventy dollars or so. So uh, yes, a lot of the marginal players have been flushed out. Uh, Russia, I, I do think U.S. ranked second in the war that Saudi uh, took. Russia ranked one, but I do think as the price of oil stays around this level, goes a little higher. I think you're going to see those shale producers come Let's back. Let's talk on. about Main Street. The one thing we can't say: this is a really crowded space. Everybody's got headphones right now. Uh, and then, yeah, all the kids right. are wearing them, but there's a lot of different options. Again, kind of a cool company. I think a questionable product, but again, I, I, it's not my, it's not my, it's not my choice. I'll tell, put it that all way. Right, no. Banks that act as banks, and less as uh, I know you chose Goldman, but Wells Fargo is something I continue to talk about. As interest rates go up, they'll make more money on their interest rate margins, and I think they'll do. Wells Fargo will be very, very like good. The bank Hillary? Yeah. The Solar Edge. It's got a peg ratio less than one, but I happen to like uh, Auto Home a lot more. Uh, so that's the one I would go with. But either one else, so buckle up. Okay, these are not uh, for the faint of heart. Uh, you like these kind of stuff. I'll go to the other side. SEDG. <laughs> I love this because you know what? What it does, it makes the devices for solar. So instead of it takes power from each panel and it really makes your power even better. So if you like the solar play, I think you play this because it, it incorporates in the entire sector. All right. I, I, go with, go. Don't go or go both. Yes and yes. <laughs> I, hear you. Hey. I think I like the way it finished, but I, th I do think people are getting uh, adjusting for potentially a weaker jobs report on Friday. I don't think that was... Uh, so many people looking for the worst yeah. sometimes making a self-fulfilling prophecy. Speaking of the worst,